Want to keep your children safe? Be a responsible parent. In 1981, John Walsh, star of the popular television show America's Most Wanted and co-founder of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, lost his six-year-old son, Adam. Little Adam was abducted from a Sears store in Florida after his mother, Reeve Walsh, dropped him off alone in the toy department while she went off to look for a lamp. When she returned to the toy department, the little boy was gone. Weeks later, his decapitated head was found in a canal. Never his body and never his killer. The Walshes filed a lawsuit against Sears, blaming them for what happened to their son, claiming a security guard had thrown the boy out, which later proved to be false. Sears filed a countersuit, claiming that what happened to little Adam was due to his mother's own negligence. The Walshes subsequently dropped their suit against Sears. In return, Sears did the same. The fact is, Adam Walsh's killer has never been found and there is no evidence leaking his death to a known sex offender. There is also no evidence whatsoever that this crime was even sexually motivated. And in July of 1994, seven-year-old Megan Nicole Kanka, the little girl for whom Megan's Law is named, was murdered by a neighbor in a quiet New Jersey town. Her killer was a convicted repeat sex offender who had been released from prison. His previous crime involved the abduction of a seven-year-old girl, a stranger. He sexually assaulted the girl, strangled her, and then left her for dead. Miraculously, though, the little girl survived and was able to identify her attacker. This man was obviously dangerous and deeply disturbed. Still, he was released. There was much talk in the neighborhood about this man's past. Indeed, Mr. Kanka even acknowledged after Megan's death that he had known about the man's past. Still, little seven-year-old Megan was allowed to go to a friend's house down the road, unsupervised and unescorted. Mrs. Kanka did not call the friend to make sure somebody was home before Megan left. She was, in fact, not home, nor was Megan instructed to call her mother when she reached her destination. When Megan arrived at her friend's home and no one answered, she began to roam the neighborhood, again, alone. She stopped to talk to the man in the neighborhood that everyone had been talking about. She followed him inside his house, where he raped and killed her. Several hours passed before Mrs. Kanka even became concerned about what happened to her daughter, who had now been gone and subsequently dead for several hours. Could Megan's life have been saved if something were done differently? There are some very important lessons to be learned from these tragedies. This world is not your babysitter. And no parent with half a brain would leave their six or seven year old child alone in a department store or to wander the streets unsupervised. This is just common sense. Watch your kids. Know where they are at all times. Do not rely on the sex offender registry or lawmakers to protect your children. Because as these horrific crimes have taught us all, the laws, all the laws in the world are not going to stop someone that is intent on abducting, raping, and murdering a child. Living in a free society comes with risks. The only alternative is a police state. If you are willing to give up your liberties for a false sense of security, you will deserve or get neither. I'm Amanda Rogers with OperationAwareness.com and SoClear.org. Thank you for watching.